20% tax cut that he wants for everybody. Aides say they're just ideas, but at a private fundraiser, the Republican frontrunner said he may get rid of deductions for state income taxes and state property taxes. Plus, cut the mortgage interest deduction on second homes for some high-income earners, essentially keeping it, that mortgage deduction, for most people. Greg Rand is the CEO of Own America. What do you make of this, I mean, specifically the mortgage bit here, where he may take away for high-income earners the mortgage deduction on second homes? What do you say? I'm actually relieved because it's the first time we've heard anybody talking about the mortgage tax deduction where they weren't talking about taking it away from everybody. So I see this as him throwing a bone to moderates, throwing a bone to liberals to say, hey, we're not just giving the rich fat cats a free ride here, but what he's essentially saying is he's leaving for 90 plus percent of all the, the, the home purchases out there, which are owner occupants and investors, okay. leaving it in place. Okay, but you're in the real estate business. Right. I put it to you that this kind of removal of the deduction for a group of people who are in fact buying now, that's not good news for the market, is it? I don't love it, but you know what? It's part of a, an overall tax package that includes lowering rates across the board. You know, I mean, if... Oh, OK, so you're saying this is part of tax reform, which is you lower the rates and you get rid of some of the and loopholes. And you do a couple of... Throw a couple of bones on the fringes to make everybody feel like you're not just giving a complete blanket tax deduction across the board. It's a fairly... I think the people who would see their costs increase on a second home are going to see benefits elsewhere. Just by virtue of Mitt Romney getting elected, frankly, uh, the, the business economy is going to boom because... There's so many people that are holding back right now. All right, because, so you, listen, you're under attack as a business owner these days. You get, sure. you get talked about in a negative way. There's a lot of regulations getting heaped on. Just the idea that could get reversed. I see this as just a very simple PR spin, I'm honestly. surprised to hear that. I am yeah. surprised to hear that. You consider the Phoenix market, for example. Right. House prices down 55% in a, in a three, four year period. Right. Now they're beginning to come back a little because... Some wealthy people are putting money in to buy second homes, maybe retirement homes. True. If they lose the mortgage deduction on the house that they've just bought... It's not going to change their decision. It's not? I don't think so, no. Too, too, too small an impact It's on too that? small an impact, and at the end of the day, the decision-making behind buying a second home in Phoenix right now is based upon massive depreciation, a lot of foreign investors, you've talked about that on the show, yeah. coming yep. in. Yep. They're coming in with, with a weak dollar. It's, it's on the fringe, and I, looked, I don't want to see any tax increases at all. But this is the kind of thing where he essentially said he's leaving the majority of the tax right. deduction in place. Everybody else, good. it stays in place. I yeah. think it's important because now we're finding out some which loopholes uh, Mitt Romney would take away for which people right. because that's part of tax reform. That's the importance of this thing, I think. Yeah, and he's taking so much heat for being rich right now that he I'm is? not shocked about the fact that, that he would do something to make it just mitigate the, the, the edges on that whole front. All right. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Greg Rand, we always appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck, Greg. Thank you. What's the government doing to add $3,000 more to the price of that new car?